What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna be showing you the full wild true of the Bunker Alpha, all floors and without guns. I'm gonna be using bows but anyone can use guns if they want to because in the future developers are going to add some new events so I want to save up and have more guns for those events. Okay so basically what you need to do is just watch the whole video and follow all the steps and that's all. So anyway what you need to bring, here's a screenshot of what I brought to floor 1. And here's a screenshot of what I brought to floor 2. And of course there was leftovers so I usually bring 6 to 7 skull crushers or even less. Uh, I bring 8 to 9 bows if you use the bows for turrets and then you need up to 10 bows to kill all the frenzy giants. If, now if you use guns for the turrets you need 7 to 8 bows. So as you can see right now I am crouching and the floater bloater and whenever you hit them with a saw blade maze or any other you want to split them so you can actually kill them separately without getting double damage as seen in the video. Once you kill all those zombies make sure you loot the washers for those clothes. Those clothes are really useful and you will need to make them into reinforced armor later on and that will save you a lot of resources. Once you get to the first turret, just stop and start killing it with the bow. You can use a Glock with a collimator sight or just a rifle if you don't have a Glock. But the best method is to use a bow. Bows are really cheap and it's more efficient than using just a gun for turret. It's not guaranteed that you get a red ticket from the turret so you can either skip the turret or kill it if you want the red ticket. Now if the turret starts shooting you and you mess up, just basically close your game and come back or just leave the elevator and come back there again it won't shoot you and will be passive once again When you finish the turret, make sure you open this door so you know where's the frenzy giant once you get to the step and later on.
Usually you can keep your items in the lockers, you don't really need to go back home, so all you need to do is just go up to the ground floor, take some items and go back down again.
Now for this step to do, you need to kill the toxic spitter first and then run away. Make sure you have a gun, at least a rifle, so you can stop the horde a little bit quicker. But if you don't have a gun, just use your skull crusher or machete, any other melee weapon you want. And finish off toxic spitters first. First you have to run away as fast as you can and as far away from toxic abominations and then finish off the toxic spitters. Once you finish the toxic spitters, kill the toxic abominations. And this video ends here. This was made for beginners and people that don't know how to pass the bunker. So I made a walkthrough that people been asking for. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching.